Christmas. Is everybody here? If you're not here, raise your hand. My name is Dana, the magician. Would you like to see a magic show? Would you like to go home right now and take a nap? Won't you enjoy that magic show? And I don't blame you if you want a nap. Do me a favor, if you will, to make yourself more comfortable, turn your chair this direction. I promise the performance will be much more entertaining, but don't stop eating, sir. <laughs> I would do the same, you're not well. My name is Dana, it's good to be with rodent researchers. But I hear that you guys work with all kinds of creatures, is that true? Very good, so do I. We're gonna do a magic show, but before I get started, I was told this is a particularly sharp group, so I'm going to check to see if that's true with this card. This is a seeing eye test. And I'm also going to teach you how to do a magic trick. It's a big white card, a big white card that has one dot on the side, four dots on this side, three dots on this side, and six dots on this side. Let me go over the end for that person in the back with a purple shirt. That's a very nice shirt. <laughs> it's one dot there, four dots there, three dots there, and six dots there. Now this is really easy to do. Anybody can learn to do it. You guys particularly. You probably figured this out, sharp group. It's a card that only has five dots. You cover it like this, looks like four. Cover it like that, looks like six in your mind. Something you should never waste. I think you'll agree, sir. <laughs> Turn it over, you say have one dot. How many dots do I really have? Two. Thank you. <laughs> cover it like this, looks like three. Cover it like this, looks like one. You can make one of these yourself while the rodents are sleeping. <laughs> or you put them to sleep, didn't you? Aww. No, I meant to take them. <laughs> you turn it over, you say, I have one, two, three, four, five, six dots, but you never ever show all six dots. Extremely important. Follow instructions. Watch what I'm doing, not what I'm saying. Turn it over, you say, I have one, two, three dots. Don't be showing all three dots. Is everybody with me? Could be confusing. What's in the punch, Christina? <laughs> Something genetically modified. <laughs> How many dots are on the other side? Does anybody remember? I thought so too until I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm a magician, that means I get to use helpers. I'm looking for someone who'd like to be part of the show. Somebody that wants to jump up now. Perform with the magician. Don't all raise your hands at once. Quit pointing at people. All right, he's coming already, I'm sorry. Come on over here and let's give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dana, you are? Dissy, are you a technician? Very cool. What do you work with? Animals. Mammals? Rats. Warm blooded at home. All right, listen. Do me a favor. Jesse, right? Glad you remember it. Hold on to the scissor. Scissor. A dangerous surgical instrument. I'm going to make a square knot. Jesse, when is a knot not a knot? When is a knot not a knot? When it's not. When it's not a knot. <laughs> it's good. It's a square knot. Give me a favor, cut right there, right through the white part. Remember what is white is the rope. What is pink is amazing. Dana the magician. Souvenir. Nice necklace. Oh, sorry. We're going to make a devil's knot, square knot. Jesse, where are you from originally? San Diego? Alright, very good. We're going to do it. Me too. No, Los Angeles, I'm sorry. I'm too. Welcome to San Diego, thank you. I'm going to make a double square knot. How long have you been working with the animals? How long? Six years. Wow. You're a veteran. Do me a favor, if you will, cut through the white part. It's a double square knot. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Thank you. 
Do me a favor, if you will, we've got two square knots. Hand me the scissors, the dangerous surgical instruments. I'll bet you use those kinds of surgical instruments when you're working in the lab, right? Yep. Hold out your right hand, palm up. Is that the clean hand? <coughs> Let's see the other one. Yes, it is. <laughs> Just kidding, Jesse. Thank you very much. You live nearby and you have to travel far to get to work? Yep. 30, 30 minutes. We'll have to build a tram out there. It's probably. <laughs> Sorry, first day with the new fingers. Thank you. Is there anybody here that can stitch me up? So like this. Now do me a favor, hand that to the lady over there that's getting the souvenirs. What is your name? Maria. Maria? Put those under your pillow. Oh, give it to Maria. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, there'll be a handsome magician there. <laughs> I'm kidding. In my dreams. Do me a favor, grab one of them. Jesse, there's two ends. You did some cutting, I did some cutting. You did some trimming, I did some trimming. Grab one of the ends. Is that your end? On the count of three, we'll pull it. You want to change your mind? <laughs> You're right. On the count of three, we're going to pull these apart. The person with the biggest piece wins. Ready? One, two, three. Let's give Jesse a big hand. Jesse, thank you very much. I was kidding. I was joking. Don't get your hopes up. I am so excited to be here. I found out about this group about four weeks ago. I couldn't believe it. An association of people doing research with animals. This is cool. I was confused for a moment. I thought it was a PETA meeting. I'm kidding. We're going to do some things. I've been doing magic for a long time. I'm going to show you one of my first magic tricks. It was a card trick. Let me tell you to show you the trick and show you what happened. I was eight, no, 12 years old. I was at home with my children. I was in the basement. Wait a minute. That's not true. I didn't have kids then. I was with my parents in the basement and I was doing a card trick. Here's the trick. 12 years old, first magic show. One, two, three, four, five playing cards. And here's the trick that I did for my parents. I took one of those cards out like this. I took it out and I threw it away. And I still had one, two, three, four, five playing cards. And at that point, my parents jumped up, thrust their arms in the air, and said, That's amazing, Dana. Never mind. We lost this guy, didn't we? Let's try it again. We have one, two, three, four, five playing cards. I'm in the basement of my parents' house. I'm doing this magic trick. They're with their friends. They're on folding chairs eating chips and salsa. I said I have one card. I threw it away. I took two cards and I threw it away. And I said there were still one, two, three, four, five playing cards. And at that moment they jumped up and they said, that's amazing, Dana. I think I saw a glimmer in your eye. Let's try it again. I had one, two, three, four, five playing cards. I was eight years old. I was in my parents' basement. They went to a Rotary Club eating chips and salsa and drinking margaritas, and they were drunk. I said, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine playing cards, and I still had one, two, three, four, five playing cards, and they said, that's amazing, Dana. Wow, you guys are great. Well, it's true, we use assistants, and I told Miss Crystal, who was kind enough to Google me, that I would like to do some magic for you. But I'm not just going to do magic, I'm not just a magician, and I'm a mind reader. I need a mind to read. Who would like to come up and be part of the show? Somebody that won't be embarrassed, made fun of. We're not going to discuss stolen money or illicit relationships. <laughs> or rats who've learned to walk, but we haven't told anybody yet. Raise your hand. Don't make me pick somebody. I'm well. I'm coming out. There you are, sir. What is your name? Glad you. Joe, do me a favor. Would you join me briefly? Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Joe a big hand. Joe, are you a vendor? Yes. Yes? What do you sell? 
software for animal research. That's pretty cool. Joe, I'm going to read Joe's mind with his assistance. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, already? I, this was it? It's a white legal pad, Joe. Where are you in from? What part of town? Santee. Santee. Is your zip code 92071? Thank you very much. I live in El Cajon. We shop there all the time. It's our Costco, isn't it, dear? Do me a favor, hold this marker pen. Software, huh? Software, that's good stuff. Enterprise software, not the consumer stuff. There's no money in it, is there? Thank you. A white legal pad. Joe, you can remain calm. This is not a legal yellow pad. It's a white pad. It's a place to focus your prodigious thoughts. Joe, in a moment, he's going to draw a picture in the circle. A simple picture. A design. Something geometric, but simple. It could be a stick figure. It could be something that relates to the people in this room. Joe, do me a favor. I'll hold this up. And I want you to draw something in there, in that circle, broad and big, sometime today. You got it? I don't want to see it, but I want you to see it again. I want you to focus your amazing thoughts. Hold this against your massive and manly chest. Let's focus our thoughts. Have we met before? No. Have you sent me a tweet? No. A text? A Skype? Is that great? Things have changed since we were kids, hasn't it? Wow. I, we didn't have that Facebook when we were kids, did it? I apologize. Joe, it's been a long day. A long day. I've been working hard, doing lots of things. Got up early. Got a show tonight. Do me a favor, if you will, reach out and make a direct connection with my wrist so I can feel your vibrations. We refer to this as intuitive intimacy. Nothing to be worried about. Small percentage of men really enjoy this. <laughs> Absolutely normal in the world today. Walk, let go. What a grip. I'm going to try to duplicate your thoughts. They're prodigious, they're powerful, but you have got what it takes. Do me a favor, don't show everybody what you've got, but get ready to show everybody what you've got by taking the piece of paper that's covering your image, putting it in the back, put the fly leaf in the back, on the count of three, Joe, you will show me yours and I will show you mine. <laughs> Stay calm. Do not lower yourself to my level. And you can hold it up if you will. On the count of three, we're going to go left to right in a slow arc. Yeah, that's <laughs> left. You're right. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Is it a stick figure? Let's give him a big hand for helping us. Should have been relaxing. I'll be dropping by real soon at the Costco. Oh, this is great. I think I do have something else for you. That's right. It's not the misery. The is not over yet. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have something to share with you. I think it's in here. Yes, newspaper. Where's my marker pen? Oh, you know what? We'll use this one. Good. The newspaper. You young people, this is a way to get news and information. It's true, things have changed dramatically over the years. For about 500 years, we had newspapers. Sir, what is your name? Casey. Casey, nice to meet you. Where are you from originally? Indianapolis. Ooh, that's in Indiana, you know. Casey, do me a favor, there's a marker pen. Would you give me your autograph on the front of this newspaper? Take your time. What's your specialty, Casey? Sales. Sales. We're all in sales, aren't we? Yeah. Some people can close, some people can't. That's right. What part of the industry are you in? What do we sell? Caging equipment. Caging, you got to have the cages? Absolutely. That's right. you got to have a place to put these animals and creatures. I asked Christina, I said, what percentage of your animals, uh, um, rats, are uh, genetically modified? She said about 50%. Is that what you said? That's right. I hear that funding has been cut for a lot of you. That's right. Some of you are down to one rat. How's Mendel doing? So anyways, Casey, we're back together. Your family man, you live here in San Diego? Living in Indianapolis. You do? You came in for this? Absolutely. Very impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a big hand. He came in. Raise your hand if you purchased 
a cage from KC. Your best customers are right here at the table. Good. What kind of things go in those cages? Uh, rats. Mostly rats. No monkeys? Maybe. Whatever, right? Well, here's the story. Newspapers have existed for about 500 years, and then early in the 20th century, something came about. What was it called? The radio. <laughs> Who said the internet? <laughs> well, that's right. I said early in the century. It could have been this century, last century. Right? That was really good, actually. And newspapers changed a bit because they had competition from the radio. People said that newspapers would die. But guess what? Was that true? They would diminish just a little bit. And something came along a little long, a little later. What was that called? Television. And they said that would be the end of newspapers. And what happened? Was that true? No. That's true. It was diminished. People started advertising on the newspaper. They started talking to people about different things like this. And then what else came after that? At the beginning or the, just before the end of the last century, the internet. But even today, in this world, it is true that reports of its death are highly exaggerated. And this, sir, is a souvenir and a reminder of that fact. Thank you very much, Casey. I'd like to teach somebody a magic trick. I need a lady. Somebody would like to be part of the show. Somebody would like to perform a magic trick. Now, don't make me pick somebody, especially from this group over here. Don't they look like the gang members of the, of the church? I know, I know it is. You guys do the tough jobs, don't you? Yeah. The larger mammals? I'd like to teach somebody a magic trick. I'm looking for that person right here. Don't, you would be wonderful. Come on up here, I'd love to have you help out. Let's give her a big hand. She stuck her hand up. Hello there, what is your name? Penny. Penny? Are you a technician too? What's your specialty? Mike Renova, have you ever cleaned his cages, Casey's cage? It's only a matter of time. Where are you in from? I've heard of it, it's north of here, isn't it? You live up there? What part? The good part. The west side. I'm from the east side originally. Penny, right? Penny, I have one, two, three, four linking rings. They're not linked yet, that's what we're going to do. I invented this magic trick nearly 2,000 years ago. Just kidding. We have one, two, three. How long have you been in this business? What, how long have you been in this specialty? Uh, about five years. Five years, that's great. Well, I'm going to teach you to do something that I'm sure you can do. We are going to link these together. I'm going to show you how to do it, and then you're going to do it. Penny, you think you can do it? Yes. I like your attitude. Penny, do me a favor if you will. I've got these rings. They're solid steel. Do me a favor. Actually, they're gold rings, but I put the chrome on top just to keep them nice. Actually, you know what they look like? Elephant wedding rings. Do me a favor. Point to a spot where you'd like to link them together. I got another smart one here. Did you find your spot? That's your spot. Oh, look at the cool ring you've got there. That's nice. One, two, three. Oh, I forgot. I need your help. Blow on that spot. Don't spit. Had a little trouble with this lady over here. It's a baby. Is that yours? No. It's cute as a bug in a run. One, two, three. That's how it's done. Now, this is cool because you're going to learn how to do that. Let me show you what we do. You just go like this, go like this, bring them together like this, and they come apart. Let me do this again. Ready? One, two, three. Link together. Spin the ring. Reach in. Lift and separate. We call this the baby form move. Let it come apart. You're the only one that got that, Christina. Thank you. Now, here's the thing. You're so sweet to come up. Isn't this wonderful to celebrate? Isn't this great to be together with people you work with all the time? 
One, two. Do me a favor, hold those out together. Arms length with one hand, just one hand. That's good. Don't do a thing yet. On the count of three, you will drop one and they will link together by magic. That's right, on the count of three, they, you'll drop one and they'll link together by magic. Ready? One, two, three. A big hand for my home. One. Rarely do we see people do that well. That's very impressive. Do me a favor, spin the bottom ring. <laughs> spin the bottom ring again. This is magic fun. <laughs> unless, you have a, unless you have a real hobby. <laughs> oh, magic's okay. Now, do me a favor. We're going to do this. Do this. Come a little closer, if you will. Not because it's cute. I didn't pick you just because you're beautiful. Do me a favor. You're going to work with the side of the group. I'm going to work with the side. Spin the bottom ring once. Reach down and grab the bottom ring just like that. Bring it up like this. Bring them together. Take them apart about three feet. Penny. Excellent. Show that they're completely separate. Excellent. Then go one, two, three. That's right. Hold them up like this, Penny. Hold them up. Spin the bottom ring. A big hand for Penny. Don't go. Your national nightmare is almost over. I love the way you were pointing at people. That's why I got you up here. All right, give me a favor. You did so well, we're going to go to the advanced study method. Do me a favor. Reach down to the bottom like this. And bring it up over there. And then down. And then up. And then down. Third time's a charm. Bring it all the way up your arm. Show that it's completely separate. Show the ring is some solid. Drop the ring like this. Drop the ring like this. Hold it up like that. Spin the bottom ring. A big hand for Penny. Wow. Penny. Stay here for a moment. I'm going to show you. I know. I, I can feel your energy and excitement. Torture's almost over. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to show you some of the things I do with the rings, advanced study method, while I'm alone at the house. You take the rings like this. You go like this. You go like this, like this. You show that this is solid. You have three on one. You have one on three. Isn't that exciting? I'm kidding. A lot of people think there's a hole or a slot or a trap door in the ring. Do you see the hole? Penny, let's give her a big hand for helping out. Thank you, Penny Aragonis. All right, this is almost over. Time for dessert soon. What an amazing thing is over. The first thing you should do before dessert is go to my Facebook page and like me. Oh, sorry. Here's the thing. I want to show you my pom-poms before I do my final illusion. Can you imagine, as a young man, eight years old, I wasn't very popular? I know. It's like being at home. I wasn't very popular. I wanted to do magic, and everybody was else was interested in two other things. Sports and music. Sports and music. I wanted to be a magician. It was important to me. What could I do to become popular? What could I do to become successful? I joined Cheer Squad. I became a cheerleader. I'll never forget my first cheer. Raw, raw, re, hit him in the knee. Raw, raw, ras, hit him in the other knee. Hey, hey, over there, inside voices. Let me show you what I did. I joined cheer squad so I could do magic at the football game every Friday night, and I did the pom pom trick. Careful. <laughs> Is she okay? What's her name? Daisy, hello, sweetheart. Is that fresh out of the oven? Eight weeks ago. Sweet little muffin. I have children too. They're 24 and 26. No, 26, 28. They grow up, just so you know. One's a doctor. Thank you. Here's the thing. We have uh, pom-poms. You get the yellow, the blue, the red, and the white. You pull the blue one down and magically the white one goes up. You pull the white one down and the blue one goes up. Thank you. Crystal hired me. If there's a problem, she Googled me. It's not your fault. Just kidding. We have uh, the blue one down. It's not very impressive, let's be honest. What happens if you pull the yellow one? Does anyone know? The white one goes up and the blue one goes down. So if the white one is down, the blue one is up, you pull the yellow, white goes up, and then the blue goes down. Any questions? 
What happens if we pull the red one? You were thinking it, weren't you? The blue one goes up and the white one goes down. Let's say at the end of the week, your research assistant says, let's review. Blue one down, white one up, white one down, blue one up, the red one seems to be connected to the white as well as the yellow. A lot of people say to the amazing Dana, San Diego's most physically attractive magician. Wouldn't it be something if both of these were longer? And I said, no way, that's not possible. If these were both longer, this would be the case. They'd be down here like this, and they would be connected, the red to the white, the yellow to the blue, and that's not going to happen. Then they said, well, what if there's nothing in the middle? Nothing in between. I said, no way, that would be a miracle. Thank you. I've got to do one more thing before I leave you. Very excited to be here. Merry Christmas, by the way. Happy Hanukkah. Who likes to get more? Christina? Yeah. You're not alone. As a matter of fact, there are several Indian gaming casinos in the county. About seven, eight, nine, I'm not sure. My wife makes regular donations to those gaming casinos. You know, to support them. A lot of those games are based on cards. Now, I'm a magician. I don't gamble. Not my hobby. Not my interest. But based on cards. Video poker. This is a form of exercise. On the video poker machine. Christina, you said you liked to play cards. Uh, play. Gamble. Occasionally. I didn't speak to you about something or anything. I didn't talk to you about doing anything together. We met. We talked. I asked you about the creatures that you work with. And you told me some wonderful things. But... I want to tell you something right now. I have this deck of cards, and on the way over here, I was driving with one knee. I took the cards out, and I took them, and I put one card in the opposite direction. In other words, if you saw the king, it would be facing out. If you saw the backs, you'd see one card facing the opposite direction. All the backs, you'd see one face, etc. Christina, do me a favor. Shout out in a clear, feminine voice of a past president soon. By the way, congratulations on being the president. Wasn't that great that she was the president? <laughs> the name clearly stated of any card in the deck. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Would you like to see a rope trick, a coin trick? <laughs> Let's take a look. Wouldn't that be a great way to end our show? Watch Freddie's sleight of hand. I'm going to go through this card, these cards, and I'm going to look for a card that's turned the opposite direction. <gasps> One card turned the opposite direction. Now you swear, even though we chatted beforehand, I met you briefly, that we haven't discussed this. Very good. If this is the Ace of Spades, you'll say to yourselves, let's have amazing Dana the Magician back time after time after time. Perhaps you'd like to do some research on me. I'm genetically modified. Once again, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy Hanukkah. If you enjoyed the show, my name is Dana. If you didn't enjoy the show, my name is David Copperfield. Happy Holidays. Thank you.